The main motivation for modeling our, our bat robot on biological bats is the agile and aggressive maneuvering capabilities of biological bats. Uh, the bat robot has a wingspan of approximately 15, 16 inches. From head to tail, he's about five or six inches long. It's powered by batteries that run five motors, and those five motors control both the wing flapping, the wing folding, and then two independent legs that form the shape of the tail. Uh, the control of the bat is done by an operator, essentially using a joystick in the same way you might remote control fly a helicopter. The bat robot is an example of the kinds of robots that are being built now with many degrees of freedom and that are able to execute some locomotion strategy in their environment using very complex maneuvers. Uh, the same kind of technology that we use for this kind of application we think could be used in disaster response. For example, you can imagine these kinds of robots exploring disaster sites like the Fukushima reactor, uh, where it's not really possible to send humans in, and because of the destruction, ground robots don't really have a chance either.